Oh, am I ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm Ethan Shepherdess, and I'm going to be an environmentalist. And you guys are going to be um, pregnant people wondering what to do about making your children be born into a sustainable environment. So we need sustainability. We need it for a healthy environment. You have the right to be healthy, and so do your children. So the first of all, we need clean water. So here you can see a nice stream that's going nice and fresh and clean. And then here's some stream that's not as polluted, that's Duwamish probably, um, that is actually being put into lakes and rivers. So and we use this water to actually irrigate our crops. So like up in Whatcom County, they have, they're, because they're right next to Canada, Canada has a lot of chicken farms and that um, chicken poop comes into our water supply and they use it to irrigate their fields. Well, when they irrigate them, that's nitrates and arsenic into your food. And that brings me to my next point, is that you need healthy soil to have a healthy environment. So, healthy soils have carbon, depleted soils do not. The climate smart, take care of your soil, so they take care of you. The more soil, you have to use crop rotation, all that stuff to have healthy soil. So here, you see, some nice healthy soil that's growing great. And here is unhealthy soil that they probably treated with anti-freeze or something to make the food grow. Because farmers do that. So we also need better farming practices. So I'll give you guys a second to read that because that's a lot. <laughs> you better read it to us. Okay. So you know, Frank, what with soil depletion, droughts, flood, biofuels, armed conflict over over cropland, the way humans produce food is pretty unsustainable, unless we grow our own. But on the other hand, now that you crack the wheat gene, and I'm supposed to give some options, I prefer to grow my own. All you have to do now is breed a strain of robo crop that can survive without water, without nutrients, can yield enough food and fuel for 9 billion people to handle an AK-47. <laughs> Stop this or you're scaring the cauliflowers. So we also need more egg land. And that can just be growing your own garden in your backyard. You know, in Seattle there's people that have chicken coops, chickens, eggs. You can get all your food from them, or as much as you can. We also need to give the farmers more money because the way that they're getting subs uh, the way that they're getting government funding is not sustaining them. So a crop of corn for a little acre, after they bought in seeds and everything, they're probably only getting an extra 300 bucks. We also need to stop patenting our foods. That was probably the worst law that was ever created. And so because these big corporations like DuPont and Monsanto who own these patents to these foods, they're getting billions of dollars off these seeds. And we just need to demand to have healthier food for you know your children and your children's children. That's it. Okay. Great.